Hello everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks! In this episode, we're going to be getting ourselves the final rail map that will restore some of the tracks within the northeastern quadrant, and that will be the fire rail map. So, what we gotta do is make our way to the new floors that have been restored here in the Tower of Spirits and take them on. And this is definitely the most difficult one, and obviously they get harder as you head up, but uh, this one really ramps up in difficulty and gave me the most trouble within the Tower of Spirits. Now, it's not because the puzzles itself are hard, it's because I'm kind of stupid and forget things when playing video games. Hopefully I don't do that now. We'll see how well we do, but here we are, we're at the tippy top, and let's go ahead and enter this. So I believe this is the 13th floor altogether. Yep, floor 13. So we've made it to the new level. I wonder what's in store for us. We defeated so many enemies. There's nothing that can stop us now. Right, Link? Uh, you know, I'm just gonna be confident. Go us! That's the spirit. I get it, cause you're a spirit, and we're playing spirit tracks puns. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, as you can tell, there are these new phantoms, and I got myself a nice uh, wood heart. But that's what I'm talking about. We got these uh, new phantoms that are known as warp phantoms. These phantoms can warp. Now, obviously, a lot of you guys know what I'm talking about. If uh, you know you were with me on my phantom hourglass adventure, because we got to experience all of the tough phantoms. So you got these phantoms that are going to uh, warp if one of these eyes see you. These phantom eyes. So you want to keep out an eye for the phantom eyes. <laughs> Get it? It's puns? Okay, whatever. Um, anyways, uh, with killing that phantom eye, we were able to cross by and get ourselves a nice tear of light. Now, uh, what I want to do is I want to be careful of this phantom, so we're going to be wary. We're just going to go ahead and pass by it. And I'm going to try to kill this phantom eye as well. You want to stun them. Now, keep in mind that they are not dead forever if they get hit uh, or if they die. Basically, they'll respawn within like a minute or so, so yeah, it's <laughs> it's not that good. Um, you should want to be careful because if they do respawn uh, and you're in a bad position, they'll chase you and they'll have the phantoms warp towards you and uh, yeah, you'll be in a pickle. And obviously, when you get hit, you respawn to the front uh, or the most previous uh, room you came in from. So, you know, we'll warp all the way back here, missing a heart, so we don't want to do that. Uh, so make sure we don't get hit by the phantoms. Anyways, uh, as you can tell, we have these fish statues. Let's go ahead and throw a um, sword. Not there. I don't know why I did that. Um, okay, so, you know, I did it on purpose. I want to show you guys what happens. So if you throw a sword on the left fish, like if you throw the sword inside of it, a new phantom will appear, which will give us some trouble so yeah I didn't want to do that you want to throw the sword into the right fish statue and that will put you in a good position because a chest will appear that we're gonna want to grab uh, but in a second what I want to do is use my nice uh, whip and just whip my way across these areas and here we got the phantom eye that detected us so now the phantoms will teleport I believe this one's also gonna teleport so we have two phantoms on our tail I'm most likely gonna get hit let's see if we're lucky enough to just grapple on just like that nice we are in the clear now I want to quickly get this guy off of me warp over here this phantom is going to see me this phantom eye rather and um, it's okay because we are right by the purple safe zone, so we're just going to want to wait until the phantom teleports here and then warps out. He's going to realize, oh, there's nothing important here, so why stay? And now we want to leave before that phantom eye reappears. There we go. There it is. So yeah, you want to be careful of that. But anyways, now what we're going to do is we're going to quickly grapple our way from place to place. I want to be careful here, actually, because this phantom eye could spot me in. Have the phantoms re-teleport towards my location. I don't want to do that. So now that we have two tiers of light, the final one isn't here because you can't see it on your map. So yeah, I'll show you guys where it is in a second. Let's just go ahead and stay in the safe zone and wait for the phantom to teleport or warp out. Oh man, okay, I wasn't ready for that. Uh because he teleported really light compared to the other one, so I thought they both teleported away together, but sadly not. It's okay, though. I think I outran them, and now they don't know where I am, and I got myself a small key from throwing the 
uh, sword within that fish statue that was on the right. So, so far is so good. Now, what I want to do, go ahead and jump down here and make, oh wow, okay, and make my way all the way to where the locked door is on the top right, so the north white part of the uh, map itself. So we're gonna go ahead and run all the way up here, use our small key, and enter it. That way we can pick ourselves the final uh, tier of light, because the tier of light is actually on the 14th floor, so yeah. And as you can see, there's a phantom all the way uh, there blocking it, so we're gonna wanna be careful. And here we got these really narrow hallways. What we wanna do is uh, scout the phantom eyes and shoot him with our boomerang, because uh, if you do get caught by a phantom eye, not only will the uh, warping phantom teleport to you, or warp to you, or whatever, it will also, he'll also shut the gate to this area here, and there's a gate right behind um, the phantom itself, and I'll show you guys. So right behind him, this door will shut pretty much if he sees us. So what do we do? How are we going to get him away from that door? Well, go ahead and hit your boomerang on the wall over here. That will cause him to look over there, you know, distract him for a little bit. And then we can run right past him and grab the final tier of light. And there we go, we have light within our sword. It's full of energy and we're ready to attack some phantoms and uh, claim them ours. So there we go, Zelda, enter the phantom's body. And yes, guys, believe it or not, she gains the powers of the phantom. So, hey, check it out, I'm a warp phantom now. He, and will you look at that, now she can warp to uh, specific parts. Okay, for a second I thought my game froze. My heart like skipped the beat. I'm like, wait, what? Why Why did it stop? <laughs> but it was just showing us the phantom eye. So basically, yeah, you know those fa uh, eyeball monster things? They're called phantom eyes. Yes, I knew that, Zelda. Uh, if you draw a line to the phantom eye, I could teleport straight there. That sounds so nice. I'll never have to walk anywhere again. Uh, well, I, I mean, as long as you're in this rusty suit of armor, I guess, but I don't think that sounds like fun. Anyways, go ahead and have her teleport to the one over there. She kind of hints to that one. And then have her step on this switch. With that, this door will open. Now we want to make our way all the way to the princess, so let's go ahead and run towards her and pick up that uh, treasure. It's nothing too important, but we want to grab it while we're at it. And since there are no phantoms within this uh, floor, we are safe. So, uh, we don't have to worry about a phantom warping towards us or anything like that. So, let's go ahead and grab this real quickly. And we got ourselves, ooh, an ancient gold coin. Alright, let's call Zelda and make our way back to the previous floor, which was floor 13. Because we're done with this segment of floor 14 for now. We'll be back, though, because there is a part of the floor that we haven't yet taken on, as you can tell the like left part of it so we'll do that soon anyways let's go ahead and hit this guy and then whack him on the head if you let me all right oh this phantom knows someone's nearby let's be careful wait for him to leave i want to hit this one on the back so i can not have to worry about him any longer so we're gonna go ahead and wait a little bit until he walks by hopefully a phantom i didn't appear let's go ahead and well, have Zelda jump straight into it. There we go. Now, what we want to do is make our way down here and use this boomerang to catch on fire and light this torch. Please, Zelda, don't block the boomerang. Okay, good. That will have a chest all the way over there to up here. We're going to go ahead and grab that real quick. So let's do that. Also, you can see a chest over there. Don't worry, we will get it. And I'll show you guys how to do that in a second. Also, the chest that's over here. So there's a couple of chests you can easily miss uh, if you don't pay attention. But uh, they're easy to get in general. There we go. Thank you, Zelda. <laughs> she did it without even, like, I didn't have to tell her to actually hit the phantom itself. So with that, we got ourselves a small key. And now... Let's go ahead and grab the other two chests that are over here. And how to do this, basically, is, well, we can actually, I believe, head up here to do it. This is like a longer route, I guess. So we're going to want to have Zelda walk all the way over here. Now, this isn't the only floor like, you, like that you have to be on to jump on Zelda's back, but I think this one is convenient enough because we're right by it. I believe you can do it on the stairs that are over here as well. 
but I think this one works fine as well. So let's go ahead and have Zelda just stand right like this and go back to Link and jump. There we go. Yep, we're set. Now what we want to do is make our way all the way over here. So we're going to go ahead and make our way down there and pick up that chest. And we'll, we'll grab this chest as well. Actually, I could grab it right now, but I'd rather not. I want to grab the chest that's over here first. So, yeah. Uh, we have to make our way around where there is an opening. I believe in the center there's a small opening we can jump on the platform. Yep, there we go. Because the rest is guarded. So, uh, you have to make your way all the way around. That way Link can jump like so and pick up this chest, which is... A Goron Amber, not bad. Now let's go ahead and jump on Zelda once again, and then make our way over here, and you're gonna use your whip to grapple onto the pole, and that way you can pick up the chest that's over there, because you're not high enough to grapple onto it, so you have to be on Zelda's shield. That's the only way you can get it. So let's go ahead and grab it, and we got ourselves another Goron Amber, so not bad. Then let's go ahead and jump back over here. So there we go. Now what we want to do is have Zelda warp all the way to the phantom that is in like an inaccessible area, an area we can't head to. So what we're going to have to do is Zelda warp over here. Wow, really? My cursor just ended. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have her walk there while I walk around. That way I don't waste too much time. So I'm going to make my way all the way over here. Uh, actually, you know what? Just go ahead and jump straight into her, Zelda. I think the other phantom will reappear because, you know, his armor is gone, but I don't care. Let's see. Nope, the phantoms are- oh no, he did reappear. Okay, oh well. Anyways, I want Zelda to teleport over here real quickly, and then with that, we can have her hit this switch. Now, we want to hit both of the switches at the same time, so with the small key, we're going to open up this door, and that way, me and Zelda can hit the switches uh, once they go off. So, there we go, like that. And this door will open. So, so far, so good. We're just using our brain here to um, teleport to different Phantom Eyes, and it just makes it so much easier. Just make sure you, like, don't forget that you can teleport to Phantom Eyes, because that is the biggest issue, especially in the later rooms. If you forget, you will end up being stuck on a puzzle or something, and that's what gave me the trouble, as I mentioned earlier. Because I could have Zelda just knock these baddies down. I am going to have her do that because I don't like these friggin' blue choo-choos. Come on. Beat him up. Thank you. Okay. Now, I'm going to want Zelda to step on this switch because Zelda cannot walk on sand, at least in her phantom body. So, let's go ahead and let her step there and a bridge will appear that she can walk on. So, you have to do that if you want to continue with her, of course. And then now what we want to do is stand over here on this blue shape thing. And this is going to act like a teleporter. Basically, if uh, the princess stands on one and you stand on one, as Link, of course, <laughs> you will teleport, uh, like, switch spots, basically. So just like that. So one has to be standing on one. And they have to be the same types of shapes, of course, because you're going to find more of these shapes later on, and you'll be able to, like, switch spots and stuff. So we did that so Link can pass the spikes. Luckily, Zelda can easily walk through them with her phantom body. And now what we want to do is grab this, throw it right there, so we can continue on. So, yeah, not bad. Now, the most confusing room is right up ahead. It's honestly really easy if you remember that Zelda can teleport to phantoms. So, yeah. <laughs> what we want to do here is have uh, the princess walk all the way to this triangle. And we're going to stand over here. And we'll just wait. You know, we got time. We're in no rush, really. We're just going to wait for the princess to make her way all the way over there. And we can watch her instead of just seeing Link stand there doing nothing. So... Yeah, anyways, switcheroo, <laughs> thank you, whoop de doo eat and choose, yeah, okay, oh jeez, I'm just gonna ignore these guys, now the reason why Link has to do this is because, well, you can walk on sand, I'm like freaking Zelda, I mean, what do you that, you can't walk on freaking sand, it makes no sense, alright, now, we want Zelda to 
come over here um, so we can push that ginormous door because you need two people to do it. So Link and Zelda have to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go move this block all the way to one of these switches and then stand on this one that will cause these spikes to disappear. And then we're going to step on this and trade spots with Zelda because now that uh, we found a way to remove these spikes, we can head here with Link without having Zelda, like, you know, do the whole, whole switcheroo thing. So, as you can tell, the spikes are still there, even though they left for a second, is because you have to be stepping on the switch, so set Zelda to be standing there. And now we can easily switch like that. Make it right over here. Let's avoid these spikes, though, because they don't go away. And then let's call Zelda towards us. And now we can push this door, so we'll just have to wait for her. Oh, okay, she's being really dumb gonna be doing that we want you to come over here let me reroute it why don't you come push this door please uh, pretty please please and thank you with cherries on top you know you always got to say the magic word even though I technically control her so heave ho and well a small key yeah okay now what we're gonna do we're gonna have Zelda teleport all the way over to this phantom because you know we still need to use the whole teleporting warping thing i keep you know switching them it doesn't really matter teleport warp who cares but yeah we need zelda to warp there because she's gonna get us on that other side but how well you guys are gonna see in a second so what we want to do is run all the way down here to this circle and then take zelda to the circle itself but you know what i just realized we can't, because there is sand, and she can't walk on sand, you know? So let's go ahead and grab a boomerang, and hit the switch, and now a bridge will appear. How convenient. That way she can walk on it. And as you can tell, there are two phantoms in the corner. See, they won't block your path or anything. If a phantom eye sees you, they will teleport to you, or warp, or whatever. Who cares? But yeah, so you don't want that to happen. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and set her to walk all the way to this circle. Link's already standing on it, so we are ready. Then we can teleport. And then we can have Zelda once again teleport to the, the Phantom Eye. And that way, we're both on this side. So, not bad. <laughs> so far, so good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and head over here. Too bad there are spikes blocking the way. Uh, let's have Zelda head straight to the Phantom, so warp away. And I like how she actually kills them as well. I, uh, she didn't this time. Okay, well, I jinxed it. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and have her run all the way down here to step on this switch. That way she can remove the spikes. Oh, okay, she killed it. Not bad. All right, I don't think I can kill this guy easily. Yeah, maybe with bombs? Yeah, that worked. Okay. The bombs worked, but the whip doesn't, nor does the boomerang. So that kind of sucks. This part is slightly difficult. What you want to do is you want to have Zelda to sit and grab these boulders and just stop them and create a path for Link to walk towards. So we're going to have Zelda constantly run up, block them, keep going, keep going, keep going. See, she's going to keep going like that. And then once this one breaks, we're good. We can easily walk around. Now let's have the princess... Go ahead and step on this switch. With that, I believe this ladder will appear. And now what we want to do here is the most difficult part of it all. So Zelda can't walk on sand. And right here, there's sand. And there's also two switches that Link and Zelda have to step on at the same time. How is she going to make it to it? Well, she could teleport to Phantom Eyes, correct? Correct. But how do you do that? Well... Go ahead and take your phantom eye and sit and blow it all the way to this side. Now, quickly, as fast as you possibly can, have Zelda... T oh, crap. I'm in a bad situation. Have Zelda teleport to it. It just disappeared. All right. Well, that happened. Um, let's go ahead and try that again. You just want to... Oh, man, this is bad. This is actually really bad. Hopefully these guys... Oh, these guys can walk on sand, right? 
Oh, they can't. They gave up immediately, didn't they? Okay. Let's go ahead and try this again. So, sadly, we're going to have to wait now because I screwed that all up. But, basically, what I want to do is I want to have the Phantom Eye be on the other side and then have Zelda... What, what are you doing? Why are you walking back? We want to have Zelda teleport to that. So... Don't hit it. Oh, it saw me again. Okay, I'm gonna stand right here. Ah, <laughs> loser. Yeah, you can't do nothing. All right. There we go. Now it's over here. Zelda, this is your one and only chance to do this, so hurry up. There we go. She is here. She has teleported. Let's kill this eye now. And now you need to step right here. And with that, the first door opens, the second door will be opened with the small key that we obtained, so let's go ahead and run our way all the way over here and defeat this eye because there is no sand that will stop the warp phantoms when they come and warp here if this phantom eye sees me, so let's go ahead and do that. Kill it. Oh, I didn't really, actually, when you think about it, I shouldn't have killed it because now I have to wait for the phantom eye to reappear so Zelda can teleport towards it or... I can have her walk all the way back. Let's see if she will. Oh no, she's gonna sink in the sand. What am I doing? <laughs> okay, go ahead and teleport to this one then. See how long it will take for these phantom eyes to reappear. Or that phantom eye in the center though. See, this is a good thing that they come back because if they don't, you'd be screwed. You'd have to like exit the room and have them respawn or something. All right, there we go. That one reappeared, so switch your position. Let's go ahead and head to the next floor, so. There we go. We go ahead and call her. We can just run up. So now it's the final floor. And this one could be a little bit difficult, but it's not. And I'm going to go ahead and lay it out for you guys all simple and clean. So move the green tiles to the red tile. Your path will form a special symbol. Now look at if you look at this guy, if you take your time to look at this guy, he walks like this. He's going to walk all the way down, go up here turn to the left and then walk down like that and it will make like an arrow shape you want to have zelda do that exact same walk so let's go ahead and have her run up here and step on this green switch when she does that we'll like set things up so move move it you're in the way sorry geez or we could have had her teleport to that phantom eye either way works all right so there we go let's go ahead and have her walk the exact same route you can easily do this in one go with your stylus or you can take your time and it can be really slow and make sure you do it correctly um but we want to do it like that i believe so let's go ahead and try it see how this works my Headphones keep falling off for some reason. They're getting it's getting a little annoying, but yeah. Anyways, let's see if this works. Alright, walk straight. And Perfect! It formed the exact symbol we were looking for. And now the door opens, the final door. So Zelda, go ahead and teleport to this bad boy. And then walk straight towards us. Or we could have had her teleport to the other Phantom Eye. Either way works. We just want her to come over so we can head to the final floor and grab the rail map once and for all and get this done with. Because, yeah, we've done it, guys. So, let's go ahead and call her. What are you, what are you doing? What? Why is she walking? What are you doing? I'm literally right by you, yet you, you insist to walk around. That makes literally no sense. All right, call. There we go. Yeah, the AI is sometimes really wonky. Okay, so don't leave without me, whatever. Here we are, we're on floor 17. All right, we're done. All right, now it's time to go ahead and finally grab the final rail map. So here we go. We got ourselves the fire rail map and look at that it's mountains and and fiery place yeah it looks really cool this has to be my second favorite i still like the ocean one more but some of the lost spirit tracks have reappeared and <laughs> so this is your handiwork is it 
Restoring the spirit tracks. Building this tower. You two were behind it all, weren't you? It didn't have to come to this, you know. If you just mind your own business. Stop, Burn. I always suspected this day would come. Indeed, I had a premonition the day you left the tower. No matter how many times I corrected your behavior, you never were very good at listening, were you? You were an unworthy apprentice. And now look at you. How can I face the spirits of good? The spirits sent us here to continue their work. That you would try to resurrect the Demon King? It's unfathomable to me. I have no wish to continue the work of the spirits. Why would I want to serve the spirits? When I can become as powerful as they are. That was the reason why I came to study with you. But the spirits never answered me. No matter how hard I worked or how long, they never granted me any more powers. Tell me, Master. When you realize that your wish will never be granted, what do you do then? The answer was clear. Become even more powerful than the spirits themselves. And the only being more powerful is Maladess. <sighs> Your thoughts are twisted. It's obvious that a time for saving you is past. My words would only be lost on you. Hurry to the Fire Temple, Your Highness, quickly! You too, Link! Restore the Spirit Tracks! <laughs> but, uh, Angie! Go! I will handle the situation! Now then... Shall we begin? Perhaps this time, things will be different. Are you all right there, Link? But uh, Angie, she's, she's up there by up herself, herself now. I guess I we just have to believe, believe that, that she'll, she'll be okay. okay. Let's, Let's do as she said and go to the fire, fire temple. temple. We, must we must hurry and restore, restore the spirit the tracks, tracks in time. In time. <laughs> Well, 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 things are sure heating up. So in the next episode, we're going to get ready to make our way to the Fire Realm. So thank you all so much for watching this episode of The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. I've been Zelda Master, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye.